We turn now to formal models of security. And formal models are, uh, well, they are the more theoretical aspects. I, I do not want to say more theory than reality. Uh, but as we do tend to say, in theory there's no difference between theory and practice, but in practice there is. However, um, the formal models um, are important. They can provide you with important guidance, ways to think about security, simplifying uh, well, simplifying to the point where it makes it uh, maybe difficult to build an actual working system or to use the system that you build, but it, uh, it allows you to see uh, important concepts and to get a better understanding of how to apply those concepts in reality, in the real world. Um, it also <laughs> hopefully points out to you, uh, as we keep on saying, there is no such thing as guaranteed 100% security. Um, we need to uh, always, always remember that. But the, you know, the the formal models, the theories. Um, we are looking at security in the abstract um, so that we get a, a better, better handle, so that, we, so that we don't miss things. Um, when we uh, just say, oh, oh, we have to secure this real-world system with all of these uh, components and so on and so forth, um, we may have an idea in our minds of, of how to do that, but if we do not um, analyze the situation properly, we can miss an awful lot. Um, another way to look at this, um, you know, it's, it's formal, it's abstract, uh, in a sense it's, it's mathematical, it's certainly logical. Um, and uh, another way to look at these formal models is to think of Turing machines in computing. Now, nobody actually uses Turing machines. Uh, Turing machines are, uh, you know, they can be implemented and they do work. And you can, in fact, compute anything that you can compute with a standard computer with a Turing machine. But it's terribly inefficient. It takes an awful long time. So it's, you know, when, when you want to actually produce things, uh, we want a, a real computer. But real computers have all kinds of complexity, all kinds of uh, issues with them, and Turing machines allow us to do certain types of analysis, for example, uh, knowing whether or not this particular problem can be solved. Uh, will we ever get an answer from this machine? Um, will a program designed to uh, give us a, an answer to a particular problem ever end? Um, you know, those, those are the types of questions. Now, uh, sometimes we, uh, we may be in a situation where we, we're looking at it from uh, uh, the perspective of, uh, you know, the engineer and the physicist, uh, uh, the physicist or the philosopher, uh, philosopher knowing that there is no point in crossing the bar to chat up the young lady on the other side because uh, you have to go halfway and then you have to go half of the remaining distance and half of the remaining distance and that makes it an infinite series and it is never possible to actually do that. Whereas the engineer knows 
that uh, while all of that is true, it is possible to get close enough for any practical purposes. So, uh, the uh, you know, um, formal formal models give us guidance, um, and and they uh, uh, help us in a variety of ways. Um, but uh, nobody's ever actually built a Bell LaPadula com computer, mind you. Uh, and the Bell LaPadula. Uh, model has been used to uh, create formal design models that do work, that, that do uh, provide us with uh, systems that are more secure than a number of others. So, um, uh, it, they provide us with guidance rather than actual designs, but things like the, the Multics uh, computer uses and and that design there uses was uh, you know used bella padula to come to its uh security design and implementation um the uh trusted system evaluation uh security evaluation criteria um uh used um uh, uh formal models and, and the, the A1 uh, uh, formal standard uh, and uh, although it's been uh, limited in, in terms of its use, the, the SCOMP uh, communications uh, uh, technology um, was based on, on that A1, based on TCSEC, based on uh, Bella Padua. So um, we do have uh, those yeah, uh, tools, the abstract models, as, as guidance, and they do provide us with uh, useful machines. Um, the uh, uh, oh, when when the uh, U.S. government um, uh, law uh, about. Uh, uh, securing computer systems basically all it says is um, you have to secure any information processing machine suitable to the information that it's processing and well you know that's all it says all the the details then are in other documents other regulations most of which are in documents held by the National Institute of Standards and Technology and by the way that is a massive repository of all kinds of of guidance uh, for any of you working in security I say to the American classes that you know they should go to NIST uh, look at those documents that's their tax dollars at work those of you who are not in the United States, go to NIST, uh, download those documents, get the guidance, uh, because that's the Americans' tax dollars at work. You're not even paying for it. It's just available to all of you, and it's a wonderful, wonderful resource.